Hi everyone, Janie here. I am in, where am I? Zealand, Michigan right now. So I got in to Grand Haven late last night. It is so incredibly beautiful here. I'm gonna put a shot in of uh, some hostas that I already saw in the parking lot garden of my hotel. This is just crazy. So thank you to all of you for reminding me that garden crossings, um, the, the garden center with Heidi and Rod was was within driving distance of where I was staying. I did not even realize how close it was. And as soon as I realized, I messaged Heidi on Instagram and I said, please, can I stop by and film? And she was so sweet and she said, of course. So I am at Garden Crossings right now. They are a massive supplier of proven winners. They sell plants online. For those of you who have trouble getting your hands on proven winners, I know us in California, I know a lot of people in Florida um, have a lot of trouble they will ship it to you which is fantastic and I just have to turn around and show you all the parking lot garden here because it is beautiful there's my rental car right there look at this garden I mean this puts my garden to shame to shame you guys this is so beautiful super tunia vista jazzberry um let's see oh some beautiful look at that cannas with the salvia underneath it and then look over here look at this lantana with the creeping jenny i don't know what this one is i'm gonna have to ask heidi i feel like i should know but i don't know <laughs> and i have some and or there's some angelonia right there oh my goodness i am so excited if you can't tell this is beautiful all right, everyone, I found Heidi. This place is beautiful. Well, I'm so glad that you were like able to find us. I and know. I mean, you're not very close to home. No, I'm not. I was I was just telling Heidi that it kind of felt like, I, I assumed that everything was way more spread out than it actually was. And when I found out you were 30 minutes away from my hotel, it was like, Heidi, can I come? <laughs> Well, we're glad that you're able to come here to our Proven Winner Signature Garden. Thank like, you. Yeah, and hopefully, there's things here you're seeing that maybe you can't grow in California. Uh, yeah, and we can't, we can't, it can't look this good, I don't think. Yeah, so for this time of year, yeah. July, mm -hmm. are you seeing similar plants blooming by you as what we're seeing here? Or is this stuff so like two months ago for you guys? So it's a little two months ago for us. Yeah, okay. things are starting to get pretty tired, for you know, pretty leggy and kind of all that stuff. But it's still, you know, it's still good. It's still going to have color and everything. But everything here, I think it's just everything here looks really fresh and I know you were saying that it was tired you're right. here and I'm like what are you talking about this is tired this looks fantastic oh, so yes, it's yes. just interesting the difference between California and you know between here so right so Heidi and I are going to be both be filming a tour so check out her YouTube channel Garden Crossings I will link it down below also your Instagram is fantastic oh, thank really you. inspiring thank you. I'll link that down below as well but uh, you guys will probably see us both talking on this video where we're sharing footage and I right. love it. Do you want to just like walk through the garden together yes, and please. talk about like yes, please. some of your favorites that you're seeing and yeah. some of my favorites? Perfect. Okay. Let's do yeah. it. We'll go for a walk through okay. the garden. So I'm going to go ahead and take you through a walk through our Proven Winners Signature Garden. Okay. We are so excited because we are the first garden center to get this designation. Oh. So we are just completely honored to be able to have this beautiful garden, gardens. Actually, the whole property is all obviously the signature yeah. garden that we can showcase. Um, part of that benefit of being that signature garden is we have the Proven Winners Annuals, Perennials, and Shrubs. Uh -huh. So good collection of all the different plants and yeah. the beauty is too is people can come here and see all these plants in the garden and either a shop in our garden center right right or they can go to our online store which is gardencrossings.com yeah and can ship them all over the united states yes and i have to say from Cal being from california we have trouble getting our hands on proven winners oh we have to i mean you'd be shocked you go to the, you know uh I don't know, a big box store and there's yep. like two proven winners cans there. So I think having you as a resource to order online for, for us to get it in California, I think is fantastic. So yeah. thank you well, for shipping. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And we've been doing it now for cow. 
22-ish years oh, or yeah? so. Oh, yeah? So you know what you're doing. Been, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at some of these plants, though. This um, is gorgeous. This is yes. so very pretty, Heidi. So when did you guys plant this up? Mother's so this Day? this garden, just a little bit after Mother's Day. Okay. We plant, probably about a week or two after Mother's Day. Um, we did a mass planting of tulip bulbs kind of just around our sign. I saw that and on your Instagram. So that was kind of our first initial color for Mother's Day. That's safe to plant here yeah. and we don't have to worry about frost and stuff. Yeah. So it was about a week or two after that that we slowly started bringing some of the annuals in. Uh, we were careful, like super tunias, they could go out a little bit earlier because mm -hmm. they could get a little bit colder. Yep. Um, but selectively, we had to start planting based off of if we got it cold, what yeah. can we do? And you so, never know, right? You can oh, always Michigan get it. Michigan is the most bipolar place for weather. <laughs> I crazy. love that. Yes. I love that. So, yeah. so I see one of my favorites over there, Meteor Shower Verbena. Oh, isn't that a great plant? Oh, that one. So I have planted Verbena bonariensis in my garden before. Yep. And the, the regular Verbena bonariensis reseeds itself oh sure yes. prolifically and i am i mean i think i did it is that three. a good thing or a bad thing well in my <laughs> small garden it's not very much a good thing okay. so that's yep. why i love meteor shower verbena because yes. you still get that beautiful beautiful plant but you don't have to worry about it reseeding itself right. all over the place right <laughs> which you're right if you have a big space who no, cares like, yeah well, fun because it's a great plant for the butterflies yes like yes. i love that plant primarily for the butterfly yeah. reason yeah. And we have a butterfly a greenhouse here where we raise the monarchs and stuff like that. <laughs> and so it's I like love that. all the things for the butterflies, we really are very intentional about planting those kind of things. It's gorgeous. But so we don't pretty. limit ourself to that. Of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> so, and then I see you yeah. have lemon coral sedum. That yep. looks the lemon beautiful coral sedum. here. Now, can you plant that in full sun in California? Yes, okay. and I do. Yes. And I love it. Yeah. I actually use it as a, um, it's actually an evergreen for us in oh, California. You know, occasionally we're zone 5B, 6A. Mm -hmm. Occasionally we'll get it to come back too. Oh, good. But I never use that as a selling point because the person I tell, oh, it might come back. Of course it, it, it of course will. dies. Yeah. But. <laughs> yeah. I actually use that as a, like a hedge along my oh, walkway. Cool. Yeah. And it's just, it's evergreen all year long. I just love it. So it's definitely one of my favorites. Mine doesn't look as nice as yours, but. <laughs> Do you think that's because of the heat though? I think, I think. I think, yeah, I think it's because of the heat and also the dryness. Oh, when sure. When it's so dry, it kind of gets, you know, like, like searching yep. for water. I think yep. that has something to do with it, too. Okay. So, beautiful. Nice. And then what do we have back here? Um, that is the Veronica Ever After. Oh, so beautiful. that's one of the proven winter Veronicas. And I just love that soft purple color. It's beautiful. And it's in its prime right now. It's so it's beautiful. pretty. It's so one thing with this garden, what we've, this is a new garden, probably about five years or so it's been here. Okay. So we were a little bit more intentional about making it more of a display garden, meeting like masses of plants. Oh, opposed to yes. One of this, one of that. Cause that kind of in the past has been what we did with the other spaces. Yeah. But it's like, all right, we have enough spaces now that we can mass plant to create, Make it you know, big. those pops of color. Yeah. So I can yeah. see you did that. Is this super tuning? This just... is paradise. Oh, paradise. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. So the one thing that I noticed with paradise, uh, Super Tunia Vista Paradise and Super Tunia Vista Fuchsia mm -hmm. is Paradise has more of a shimmer to it, kind oh. of that um, iridescent e ish look. Yeah, yeah. So you, you have to have them side by side to really tell. Yeah. But oh my word. It's so Vistas. pretty. Like, and then the Nemesia, they have, she has been Nemesia here. This was gone months ago for us. <laughs> yes. It well, finished months ago. Right. And that's the Aromance Mulberry. And I was shocked because this is the first year that it's been out there. We did trials last year. Uh -huh. And the, we were worried because Nemesia in the heat of the summer, just yeah. usually the old varieties, Tanked. Yeah, but they have done well all summer long. It I mean, good. it's hot. It's been hot. It and looks it's still holding on. It looks so beautiful. Gorgeous. When we planted it, I'm like, we need to do more of this this year. You know, just to show people what it can do here in Michigan. Right. You know. Yep. So, in yeah. Michigan. Yeah, I haven't yeah. shown my Nemesia in a couple months um, because <laughs> it's not it's not looking at top yeah. <laughs> tip top. So, what would you say your favorite plant is in this whole garden? Oh wow, that is. Such a sick <laughs> question. Last night we just got back from vacation and it was probably nine o'clock or so. And the thing I noticed is on the back side of the garden, okay. when we walk over there, it's the Nephophia. <gasps> oh, 
was so that? So let's go take a look at that. That is one I don't have in my garden, and okay. I want it in my garden. Well, and it's one of those things. It's just kind of a wacky, different, whimsy kind mm -hmm. of look. Mm -hmm. um, the one we're going to show you is Rocket's Red Glare. Oh, it's beautiful, Heidi. Holy cow, look at your bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Take it away, bubble it's gum. It's beautiful. <laughs> you have to have bubble gum super tunia because that's just like the gold standard, you have right? To. <laughs> you, you have, have a garden have without to. it, it's crazy. I always tell people this is what got me started as a gardener. Right. I wouldn't be a gardener if it weren't for this one just, yep. just working so well, like, you know, you yeah. can not know anything and you can still grow some right. petunia vista bubble gum. Well, and I don't know about you. Have you ever grown seed petunias before? No. Okay. Well, we don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I couldn't think of it. Yeah. But customers will come in. They'll be like, oh, I don't want petunias. You got to pick at them. And ugh. Uh -huh. I'm like, okay, please just, this is not your grandma's petunia. Try this one. Plant it. One plant, you yeah. know, it'll... And they always come back. They're like, yeah. oh, my word. Like, yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. So I'm like, this is the perfect introduction plant yes. for somebody to get into the petunias. 100%. Yeah. yeah. So, so Rocket's Red Glare is that oh, kind of reddish yellowish Sophia back there. Oh, it's gorgeous. It it's just, it's, it's not something that, you know, I'd say, somebody would think I'd say is a really cool plant. Right. Because nobody knows. I shouldn't say nobody knows, but it's not like a highly no. known yeah. plant. Yeah, not at all. It's, it's fun and it's whimsy. It's so you know? pretty. So are those two different color. varieties with the orange? There's actually three different varieties oh. there. Um, so there's a Rocket's Red Glare and boy, oh boy. I'm gonna quiz you now. Yeah, Ch the challenge is on. This was just watered, so it's slippery. So this is the Rocket's Red Glare. Okay. This one is, oh, what is it? Backdraft. And then kind of tucked in the back here is Orange Blaze. Okay. So you can see there's a little bit of height difference going on there. I can see. But this one, I just, I love, they're all great, but this color just really pops. I see why that's your so, favorite. That is And it says prime right now, so that kind of yeah, helps. That, that helps, helps too. Prime, yes. <laughs> that so definitely helps. Fun. Oh, this looks so good, Heidi. So do you grow a lot of hydrangeas in your garden? I grow some. Okay. I grow some. They, um, I mostly mm -hmm. panicle hydrangeas are what we can grow. Okay. Yeah, sure. we have a lot of trouble with the big leaf hydrangeas because it's Why just, is that? it's just too hot and too dry, and they'll scorch. Okay. And they just, they just don't thrive for us as well. Okay. Plus, our soil is pretty alkaline, so they often get chlorosis. But oh. panicles like limelight, limelight prime. Um, I just started growing bobo hydrangeas. Oh all, yeah. Yeah, I all of those bobo. are. I know, so cute. <laughs> All of those are handling our conditions really, really well. Okay. So I have a lot of people asking me about, you know, how do I grow hydrangeas? How do I do that? Um, and it's, my answer is go for the panicles. Those okay. are so much easier for us. Yep. And that's interesting because like we can grow the big leaves here as well, but the mop heads, but they're kind of hit and miss because we're a little bit on the bottom end of hardiness. So there's zone five. Oh, interesting. Eight or nine. Mm. Um, but for us, sometimes they won't rebloom or oh. they won't even bloom. Yeah. But with a new Let's Dance series mm -hmm. from Proven Winners, they're a reblooming hydrangea. So even if we have winter kill on those initial bud sets, yeah. usually we're pretty good with that secondary round and we'll get them to bloom. Um, and they can grow in full sun here in Michigan. Oh, fun. Which is crazy, but they do need a lot of water. Yeah, so I'm of course. Telling people, it's a hydrangea. Full sun is fine. Yeah. But water it. Water, know? water, water. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so do you guys sell the let stands here? We do. Oh, of course. Yeah. We <laughs> yeah. actually, we're the only garden center, to my knowledge, in the United States that carries every single proven winter perennial, shrub, and got about 90 to 95% of the annuals. Oh, my goodness. So, That's yeah. amazing. It's, it's, it's fun, you know, just to have everything at our disposal. Yes. I don't, I don't know if you realize how lucky you are. <laughs> there are so many people that are, would die to have that access to all those proven winners. So yeah. cool. We can go take a look at some of the hydrangeas uh, and some of the other beds that are yeah. in their prime right now. Let's do uh, it. Daisy May. Do you grow Daisy May? Yes, I do. great Daisy May. Oh, I'm excited right to see it. So yeah, I'm let's excited. head over to our waterfall bed and I can show you some things that are blooming over there. Okay, let's go. So there's a plant in this garden that stopped you in your tracks. Yes, Which it did. It? Surefire white. I have to say, I grow surefire rose begonia in my garden, and it is 
the best plant because it can handle shade and sun. Right. So if you're planting kind of in a weird area, you know, especially as with our really long growing season where maybe sometime in the spring it's more shade, the do dog days of summer it's full sun, that plant can yes. handle it. I love it. And so last year, this was a new, well, I always figure last year, this year, right? So last year we did a trial on that one because uh -huh. this year is the first year yes. it's been available. Right. And we were super impressed with that as well. It looks Have you good. grown the cherry cordial one? With no. The dark? Okay. Nope. So that's another one that's new this year. It oh. is amazing. I think we might have some tucked in, so we'll try to find okay. it. Okay. But it you're is. right. It can handle like any type of location you it get can, it. I mean, look, so it's under your tree over there yep. for shade. And then it's also full sun over here. And it looks beautiful, both yeah. both places. Yeah. It's gorgeous. I love that plant, love it. So what do you think about whites for at night? Beautiful, it's little great. moon garden. Yes, we yes. gotta have white in the garden for at yes. night. Because it just like gives it a whole new like yeah. Revitalizing. Oh man, I bet this time. garden is gorgeous at night. Yeah, I bet it's, it's so just so pretty. beautiful. Sunsets over there. Oh. So like it just, yeah, I'll get behind the garden and get kind of sunset in the background. It is so, so great. pretty, so pretty. But so what type of coleus are these? Are th Those are the torchlight? Yep. Torchlight. Oh, Torch that light. is such a pretty combination. This area, especially in the middle of the waterfall, it's kind of a tricky one because if the water gets off route, it's really wet in the middle. Oh, okay. But it also can be very dry. Yeah. So it's kind of, what do you do there? Every year we really struggle with that center section and it's doing great this year. It looks so but good. But I'm a little bit, I wish we would have threw some sun patients in there. Oh, okay. Just to give it some extra, you know, pops of color. A little bit of color. Um, but I shouldn't complain. At least it looks good. It looks it great. It more color. Are these sun patients right here? Yes, these are sun patients. Oh. So we, I mean, we do a lot with the super tunias, mm -hmm. but they like fertilizer. Yeah. Even in the ground, mm -hmm. they like fertilizer. Yes, they do. So we've kind of transitioned to a lot of sun patients because sun patients don't like fertilizer. Oh, I didn't know that. So, yeah, they if you give them a lot of fertilizer, they'll stop producing flowers. I didn't so know that. So they're kind of a good, like, just plant them and Set it and forget it. them and yeah. forget it. Yeah. Maybe well, it would be good next to something that something else that doesn't like fertilizer. Right. So that can be your no fertilized garden. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so we do have areas that we fertilize and we bring an injector with fertilizer. Okay. So, and actually, we'll see it over there. Okay. Um, just because those super tunias. They they like eat them and they'll be fabulous. They sure like food. That, absolutely. I, yeah. I like to fertilize mine once a week because yep. we have to water every single day. Right. And so that's even not enough for us in California. We because you know you should water or fertilize every third watering right but I, I can't get out no. there and fertilize every three no. days there's just no way yeah. so um but you know it when i miss a week when i'm lazy it's yeah. you know it <laughs> they they tell you you're they're hungry yeah. so. and that's just it i tell people your fertilizer is insurance you know you're buying the plant yeah buy a 15 or whatever dollar yeah. bucket of fertilizer it's yeah. gonna last you a long time absolutely you just keep those plants looking good so yeah like, put the money and the investment i agree at fertilizer it's worth it's worth it. Yeah. Like it is worth it. Once 100%. you once you realize what you can get when you have a super tunia and you have fertilizer, it's like, oh yeah, I know like that's spending money, but it's like going to the movies right. or you know, but it's right. you gotta watch it all day long, you know, <laughs> all, all summer long. Gotta do it. Ooh, you know what? Turn around, Heidi, and there is the Surefire Cherry Cordial. Oh there! About. Oh yeah, I didn't so, even notice no. either. Oh, what it's we beautiful. love about those begonias is the deep dark foliage yeah. with that red flower. Oh, it's so, so last pretty. year we had these in an area that got fertilizer with every watering. Uh -huh. And they were three foot tall. Yeah. They were giant. Yeah. Um, which wasn't actually reality. You so know, you don't the fertilize height. these? These don't get fertilized often if okay. they do it's rare occasion because okay. they're planted with these uh, sun sun patients okay all um, right but the ones in our new tri in our trial bed yeah they're on a drip system yeah. and water gets uh, water and fertilizer every day yeah goes to the new trial bed oh so uh, that helped really get them some size they're big. this is more reality for the size but yeah that glossy foliage is so pretty i it, you know it. it was kind of a sleeper plant for me okay. and then i just started loving it more and more and more yeah. and now I see this one of the first things I see when I see this garden is like oh surefire white it's beautiful you know yeah. so I think it's definitely on my list for planting next year yeah. it's one of those another one of those easy, easy. ones exactly. yeah exactly. yeah and then what's this so, hydrangea yeah. so this is the 
Invincible Spirit 2 Hydrangea. Oh, it's so pretty. So, we, you know, when we were talking early, you said you like the panicles, yes. like the bobos, yeah. the firelight, those. This one here is part of the smooth hydrangea family, or okay. arborescent. And for us, these are great because they bloom on the new girl. So you don't have to worry about if you trimmed them at the long time. Okay. So if you trimmed them in the fall, they're going to bloom in the spring. If you trimmed them in, or not in the spring, but in the summer. Yeah. If yeah. you trim them in the spring, that's okay. They're still going to bloom in the you summer. You can't so mess these up. No, no, <laughs> not at all. Oh, and they're gorgeous. They're so, so pretty. And these how, are huge plants. They've been in here forever. I was going to say, how many plants is this? So this is actually four plants. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Oh, Massive. it's just so pretty. I wonder, do you know the zones on these? I wonder if I can grow these. Um, they, ooh, off the top of my head, I'm going to say three or four. We'll want to fact check that. Okay. Um, upper end, I believe, is a eight. I want to say eight. So are you an eight or nine? I'm a nine B. Oh, so you're, <laughs> you're at the very top. I am at the yeah. edge of everything. Right. So Incredibles next to it, which is like the improved Annabelle. Yes, it is big head, so pretty. I know we can grow that one. I just haven't. Well, if you can grow that one, I would Think you think you we can grow that one? Grow this one? Okay. Yeah. Is this your Daisy, Daisy May? May? Oh my yeah. goodness! So my daughter, my older daughter's name is Sadie May. So when I see this, it's like, oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. Giant it just looks color. like a mound of white. It's beautiful. Yeah. Really, really pretty. Yeah. Now, do you fertilize them? They will only get hit if we move the sprinkler out into this area. Oh, so again, not a lot of fertilizer. If he does hit it, it's not very often. So I will show you though. So this bed, he's, there's a lot of petunias in here. Okay. So this bed is actually right now getting fertilized. Oh, wow. Um, we have it hooked up to an injector out there oh, that's got fertilizer that. in it. And we just kind of run it through our sprinkling system. Oh my goodness. Our, you know, with natural city water goes into the injector. Yeah through the injector, it shoots out some fertilizer. So hose is attached to the injector. Oh my goodness. And then as it goes to the injector, it pumps a little fertilizer in and out into the garden. I need this. So, and it's funny because Rod was just talking. He's like, yeah, I can see the areas that haven't gotten the fertilizer. The petunias just don't look quite as well. Yeah. Yeah. So not as nice. Yeah. Is that a, is that a red bud in the middle? That is. Yes. That is a, it's one of the proven winners, red buds. It was just planted and I don't know the name of it. Oh, it's so pretty. Because we don't sell the proven winter trees. Oh, you don't. Okay. We're showcasing them some in this garden that way if proven winners wants to come and get you know footage of their yeah. trees there's a couple specimens um, you here. sold me on that that's now <laughs> going to be on my list for next year yeah, i'm mentally plan. creating a list of everything i want that's gorgeous yeah I, I am really impressed with that particular one it's um, beautiful okay so <laughs> what what are these so these are the persimmon Oh, and they look beautiful. a little because they just got watered, you know. Yep. But yep. actually, see how they look kind of yellow? Yes. Because these haven't been fertilized. Oh, interesting. As much as they should have. Yeah. So it's the Supertunia persimmon, which right. is new for this right. year. And yep. then the Supertunia mini, this the yellow. Beautiful. And at first, I wasn't sure. Like, I was like, not my color scheme. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But... I've been pleasantly surprised with how it's been looking in this garden. It's beautiful. It's, it's wow. really, really pretty. I actually have both of these in my garden right okay. now. Yeah. yeah, and it's really, it's it's interesting to see them with this combination because I don't have them together. I have oh, them sure. separately, yeah. you know. Pretty. Yeah, they really, they, colors have played well together. They look so great. Really I like the alternating you have here. And then yeah. I see more mulberry. More mulberry. Like Very. I said, we did a ton of mulberry. Beautiful. Because like when we were doing the trial last year, I talked about that one a lot. Did you? Like, I I just, it did so well. Yeah. You know? And then what are these? So this is the spun silk daisy. Oh, it's so neat. It's got that really kind of a frilly, dainty um, edge to each of the petals. It's so pretty. Yeah, just unique texture, I think. Not, it feels a little more airy, I think, than what Daisy May does. Yep. Yeah, but yeah, I think that that is beautiful. So how long have you guys been a display garden for Proven Winners? This is our first year. Well, oh. we've done, we've had these gardens for, well, work in progress for 19 years. Uh-huh. Um, but this is the first year we were designated as that signature You're garden. You're official. Correct. Yeah. Oh, yes. how neat. Oh, that's so, so cool. Yeah. I just let, this, this is a destination. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, I just think it's so great, you know. Yeah. Gardeners who are obsessed, like myself. <laughs> I mean, this is like Disneyland, right? To come to a place like right. this and see all these beautiful flowers. Right. It's so yeah. cool. Wow. Thank you for coming out to Garden Crossings. We appreciate it. It's yeah. been so great getting to talk with you and meet you. Yes. And, you know, new friends from afar. I know, right? <laughs> and you are welcome to come to California. Good I would too. wait a little bit until I can get my garden in. <laughs> right? But you are welcome anytime. Oh. And thank you so much yes. for having me. I really appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Well, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Yeah. And until next time, yeah. I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings. And I'm Janie from Dig Plant Water Repeat.